Hello everyone. In this video, we will be covering the design of column, the entire workflow. We will divide this video into two parts. First, in the first part, we will cover the uh, design settings that needs to uh, in the first part, we will be covering the pre-design settings and what will be its impact on the design part. So this video basically covers all the design settings, the reinforcement settings, detailing and drawing settings, zone and rebar settings. So basically we will cover all these pre-design features in this video and in the another video we will cover the output the redesign options that can be performed in RCDC. On the screen, we see a startup window for RCDC wherein we need to enter the project client and the engineer details and select the desired design code for which we want to perform the design. So for this exercise, we will select an analyzed start file. So once the file is selected, we can select any element to go ahead and design. So let, let's select column and wall that needs to be designed for this exercise. So once the file is created in RCDC, on the right hand side we have a column layout. On the column layout also there are different options and uh, quick tools available. Like we can measure the distance between the column center and the column center. We can also measure the column size. Then we have the option to view this entire layout in the micro station. Then we have different tools like the pan. Then we can zoom extends, zoom and so on. So this is with the layout. On the left hand side, we have different tabs. One is the column reference tab. This helps us to link the column numbering of RCDC with the actual member number in the, in the style file. Along with that, RCDC provides the column numbers which user would want to use in the drawings. Also, the column numbers provided by RCDC can be modified by the user. So, in case if I want to modify the column name, I can go to edit column description and or prefix in the modify menu. Once going over here, there is a provision to individually modify the column name like I can say col1 or if I want to set it for all the columns I can simply mention it here col example I can say set and on pressing ok it will change the column number on the layout as well as for all the references then in the column size we can if, as it suggests we can view the column size assigned to each member in the analysis file. Then we have the level data tab wherein all the level which are identified is mentioned and here we can set the properties of concrete and steel level wise. So uh, this plays a vital role wherein we have a high rise structure that needs to be designed and in that case when we want to use a reduced concrete or steel property at a higher level then it becomes possible over here then we have an option of shift of cg wherein the, when there is a change in the size of the member at higher levels the shift of cg can be mentioned over here or the difference between the cg can either be manually entered over here or we can select a tool from here wherein we can match the edges and get the actual CG. To understand the working of the shift of CG, we have a column C1 whose size is 900 by 900 on the lower levels and it is 700 by 700 on the upper levels. So the actual difference between the CG of both of the column but the different size is 100 mm along x direction. So to understand how the sh shift of CG actually works or how it can be applied, we have a tool over here. So by selecting this tool or this feature from here, we can select the edge over which we want to match the edges of the reduced column size. So when I select both of these, I can see that the column at these two levels 
is been shifted in x and y direction by 100 mm so basically this feature is uh, equivalent to the offset option from the stad which help us to align the column edges as per the reality condition or as per the actual condition of the column coming to frame type by default the frame type of all the columns is a non ductile type so this type will change when we select the option to perform ductile design for all the columns so when i select perform ductile design by default all the columns will be defined as a lateral column suppose if i have to change the frame type of these column as gravity then i need to assign the frame type at all the levels so the restriction set in rcdc is a lateral co a gravity column at lower level cannot support a lateral column at higher level so but the condition can be reversed at lower level a column can be a lateral column whereas at the higher level it can be defined as the gravity column depending upon the application of load done in the analysis so the frame type of each and every column can be changed from this tab now the frame type as lateral and gravity is available only for amid aci codes and the engine codes as per the code specifications now when we go to settings we have the option to perform ductile design and there is an option to design the columns as intermediate or a special frame columns and for response reduction factor a suitable value can be provided by the user wherein the default value is 3 then we have the effective length factor for each column along major and minor direction which can be set the de by default the actual value of the effective length factor is calculated however there can be a fixed value which can be set say 0.7 and it can be applied to all the columns along both the direction or we can specify the minimum and the maximum limit by specifying the exact value between which the value will then be restricted so when i restore to defaults and for the minimum and maximum limits the value will be automatically restricted so in this way the the effective length factor is function now coming to ignore intermediate beams for merged levels here we take the example of a different file a small file where in multiple levels are present out of which there is a possibility that a few levels are secondary levels so there is an option to go to modify and merge or demerge the levels which are secondary so for example if we say the levels like 2.5 8.5 then and say 14.8 these are my secondary levels so what i do i just unselect the levels which are secondary ones and say okay on pressing okay it will merge all the secondary levels with the primary levels now if in any case if there are some beams which are present at the secondary levels and we have merged those secondary levels then when i select this setting of ignore intermediate beams for merged levels all the beams at the secondary levels which are merged will be ignored so the unsupported length of the column which is ranging between two primary levels will be actually considered coming back to our design settings next we have the optimized design optimized design option is used by rcdc to arrive at the most optimized rebar design using more than 1 diameter if this is unchecked rcdc will provide design with single diameter of rebar then there is an option to consider this lanternas effect further we have two design methods one is the resultant moment or the combined action method and there is one more interaction principle or it is a discrete action method so these two methods determine the plotting of the p against the m curve which is the pm interaction curve which for which a detailed explanation is provided in the help content and 
one uh, for more technical know how about it one can refer to this detailed explanation which is provided next under settings we have the shear wall settings we need to set the d by b ratio so the d by b ratio is the aspect ratio of the section beyond which the element will be determined to be treated as a column or as a wall so next under the shear wall settings we have the setting for detailing and designing the wall with two options to uh, understand these options i have captured two images the image on the left hand side is the image of a wall which is designed and detailed with the boundary element arrangement so basically when a wall is designed and detailed like a boundary element there is formation of zones the, there are two zones which are formed one is the end zone and one is the mid zone so the boundary element is the zone in which there is a higher concentration of the area of steel whereas in the mid zone the concentration of the reinforcement is lesser than that compared to the end zones the boundary element determination will depend on the stress on the end zones of the wall coming to the second option which is the detailing option with equi spaced arrangement so this option will ensure that despite of the creations of the zones internally in the wall boundary element or otherwise the spacing of the bar across the length of the wall will be maintained same however the diameter of the bar could vary depending upon the zone formation but the spacing will never vary so that is the difference between the wall designed and detailed as a boundary element and designed and detailed with the equi spaced arrangement then we have the option to perform the crack width check as per aci 224r coming to material properties there is a option wherein a non standard material property can be added a standard list of material is already available in rcdc however if i have some specific requirement of say a grade of c32 then which is not available in the standard list then i can just go to the add option and just add this material property and say okay and if i have to assign this specific material property at any level i have to come here and change the material property over here next we have the settings for the reinforcement under the reinforcement settings the percentage steel for column and shear wall needs to be mentioned the default values are the code specific values mentioned in the code however these values can further be edited by the user but a limitation is been set in rcdc so that the codal provisions are not violated coming to longitudinal rebar spacing there is an option to set the minimum and maximum distance between the longitudinal rebar the preferred rebar spacing there is an option to set the preferred spacing for equi spaced type of arrangement where column is an example of an equi spaced type of an arrangement and when whenever there is a wall with boundary element then the, uh, the spacing which will be mentioned over here will be used to determine the number of bars in that particular zone so if i consider preferred rebar spacing for a column is say 125 mm so this spacing will be further used to determine the number of bars that can be accommodated along the edge length so if i consider the option say 900 mm i have seven number of bars so what rcdc has done rcdc has considered the preferred spacing which is near by to 125 mm and determined the number of bars that can be fit for a 900 mm edge length coming back to our reinforcement settings the link spacing minimum and maximum range can be set the spacing that is mentioned over here is applicable to the design of non ductile links the calculation of spacing for the ductile link is done as per the codal provisions over here next we have 
option to set the minimum and maximum range of diameter of rebars so over here we can set the minimum diameter that we need for the design and also the maximum diameter for column and wall separately now there is an option over here to change the diameter system so the default diameter system is the rebar number system which is as per the code specifications however if i have to change the system to rebar diameter uh, let us consider an example wherein i am designing for a region wherein the design code used is aci code but the actual diameters or the steel configuration available at that location is in the form of rebar diameter so what i can do is i can design with the aci code using the available diameter and not the rebar which is the specification of the aci code so this this option is specifically provided to design the structure with aci code provisions using the material as per the availability at that at that specific location next there is an option to use the bundled links wherein the shear requirement is higher and cannot be sufficed with the single link arrangement then there is an option to select the type of links that needs to be provided for columns walls and the tie tie style which will depend as per the user requirement then the setting to set the round off factor for spacing as well as zone is provided over here going ahead we have the detailing and drawing settings like whatever we whatever specific requirements of providing the lab uh, can be shown then we have the option to uh, show the reinforcement label using rebar rebar reference tags or both in the elevation then we can set the reference level or, or the reduced level the location and the labs or splices can be selected like a rebar splice or a mechanical coupler can be selected and the same will be shown in the drawing the location of the splice can be selected at mid height or at top of slab and the style staggered or same location can be selected then we have the zone and rebar settings so based on the column size or the wall size the number of rebar for each edge can be set coming to basic load cases we need to assign the load type to each load case in rcdc and select all the loads and we can push it here now over here a key feature which is specific to the aci code is available like i can select whether the earthquake loading or wind loading in my analysis file is a factor or an unfactored one and select to add the load combinations from my template from my standard template we also have an option to in case when both these levels are same similar type of or symmetric levels i can just select this levels and say group levels so my group number for both this group level will be renamed as same and i go here i can see that the these two levels are grouped under a single group label now we can go ahead and perform auto design so that's all about the settings and different features that can be used before you perform the auto design stay tuned for the next video where we will be covering the post design reports that are generated and different options of redesigning that are available in rcdc to locally handle a few reinforcement arrangement or to locally change some design parameters Thank you.